Uh, this week we will be talking about CI/CD with Kubernetes. Now, continuous integration is the practice of merging all developers' work into a shared mainline through an automated build with the intention of detecting integration errors as quickly as possible. So with continuous delivery and continuous deployment, we take it a step further and we deploy all of the code changes to the staging environment. So practicing continuous deployment does not necessarily mean that any new features developed is put in front of the end customers right away. That would be continuous release. What happens when code is being deployed? Now, at the same time, um, the operations folks and the infrastructure folks will make sure that you have an actual cluster to deploy to by using a multi-cloud management system. Here is a, a sample structure of what a Kubernetes deployment, uh, well, a Kubernetes deployed application will probably look like. So when you have multiple instances of this, you see that your release schedule is no longer linear as what we had before in our rolling updates. 